Blade is a fantastic, wonderful loudspeaker, but it's pretty big. Right from the start, people said, we love this speaker, but when are you going to do Baby Blade? Well, that's easier said than done. What we found with the original Blade was that it's often overpowering for a small room. With the Blade 2, you have exactly the same UniQ, you have exactly the same quality of bass, but it's much more appropriate for the smaller living space that a lot of people have in their homes. We almost surprised ourselves. It's got just incredible deep bass from those four quite tiny six and a half inch bass drivers. The Blade range of loudspeakers is all designed around one idea, and that is to make a system that complements the UniQ driver perfectly. So in the UniQ driver, we have the tweeter, and that's surrounded by the mid-range. In the Blade range, we then surround the mid-range by four bass drivers. The Blade 2 UniQ driver is designed to work within its own steel enclosure that's quite separate from the rest of the cabinet. It's a two-part enclosure that contains all the damping and everything else required for the speaker to work correctly. That's assembled into the cabinet and it's fully mechanically decoupled from the cabinet by rubber bushes, so no mechanical forces are fed into the cabinet. The UniQ on Blade is quite unique. It uses a four inch cone with a three inch voice coil. That's much bigger than you'd normally find. And we position the voice coil halfway along the cone. The reason for that is that the amount of mass inside the voice coil and outside the voice coil is approximately the same. And that creates a balanced drive. We call it a nodal drive. And it means that the breakup doesn't happen until a much higher frequency. With the bass drivers arranged around the UniQ, we can create a sound field that seems to come from a single point just behind the UniQ driver. So everything you hear from bass to mid to treble, everything comes from a single point in space. The bass drivers cover low frequencies up to around about 350 hertz. And at that point, we cross over to the mid-range part of the UniQ. And then at around about 2.2K, we cross over to the tweeter. For the crossover between the low frequency and mid-range, we use second order slopes uh, with really high quality components. And then again, from the mid-range to the high frequencies, is second order again. We find that's a really good compromise between getting steep enough slopes, but not introducing unnecessary complexity or extra components. Extra components will always add more coloration. The Blade 2 cabinet is formed in two halves from a self-forming composite. This gives us a lot of freedom, both for the industrial design, so we can form exactly the shape that we wanted, both for acoustic and mechanical reasons. It gives a very inert acoustic property. Because basically, you've got a very dense inner core and then an even more dense self-forming outer skin. We're able to design a lot of internal bracing and partitions into the design of that cabinet. It was an expensive item to tool, but the payback in performance was worth it. The shape of the cabinet is designed to maximise the performance of the UniQ driver. So if you look at the front, you'll just see there's only the UniQ there. You can't see anything else. The area around the UniQ is very carefully sculpted to get the best possible performance. So if you run your finger along the cone of the mid-range driver, it smoothly blends into the rubber area around that and then smoothly into the cabinet. We're trying to avoid any secondary reflection off edges, off port openings, off trims of drivers. The LF drivers used in Blade and Blade 2 are slightly unusual because they're designed to be used as like a uh, horizontally opposed pair, so one at each side of the cabinet. And that pair of drivers is linked together with uh, very strong steel rods we call tie bars. And the idea is that the forces generated as the drive unit cones move are all fed back into the structure. Straight away, the vibration that reaches the cabinet is reduced significantly and you hear much less sound coming from the walls of the cabinet moving. We want you really just to hear the sound coming from the drivers and nothing else. But the new colours are light silver, warm metallic grey and racing red. There's one in frosted blue and frosted black like a stealth sports car with the UniQ the same colour as on our very famous LS50. The thing I really like about the Blade range of loudspeakers is that it's really driven by the acoustics and the engineering. But then we've ended up with something which is sculptural and really beautiful. And I think that is pretty unique. It's a kind of a running joke here that we get paid for doing our hobby. 
and it's kind of true. It is a bit of a puzzle. You start off looking at a blank computer screen, six months, a year down the line, you've got a product. That's a really fun creative process and it's nice being able to see things through right from the early stages to that final product.